In this video, we will examine real-life scenarios which relate to how people can completely overcome procrastination in order to live a more responsible and efficient life. The following points will highlight what certain people did to be successful in completing any assignment on time. They were able to finish their work way before the deadline because they did it right on the spot with motivational ideas in mind. To start, these people are no more than your average person. What makes them exceptional is the fact that they were able to overcome procrastination and this achievement enabled them to go farther in life. They used to have the tendency to push off assignments and continue waiting until the last few minutes to get everything done. They noticed what was happening and decided to put a stop to it. The best part is that they decided to share their experiences by writing these tips, aiming to help other people succeed. To specify, these people are coaches, authors, productivity experts, entrepreneurs, and bloggers. The first person is Mike Vardy. This man is a productivity strategist and the founder of Productivityist. He overcame procrastination by simply attaching a kind of mode to every single task. Once he was in a certain mode, he was able to stop himself from pushing away the assignment and just do it, right on the spot. Every time he had a task in front of him, he continued with it because he was in the right mindset at that moment. This was just the beginning of his success when it came to overcoming procrastination. Continuing with his strategy, he learned about different resources which helped him to develop various modes to defeat this bad habit. The next person is Darren Rouse. He's the founder of ProBlogger. He overcame procrastination by designing his own weekly schedule. He started by listing the activities which needed to be done throughout the week. Then, he organized them by determining which tasks had to be accomplished on a specific day within that week. These tasks were then placed in order of the amount of energy it would take to do them and how important they were, depending on which day of the week it was. Sometimes, there were tasks which had to be completed by Tuesday, while others had to be handed in by Friday. If there were three assignments, which had to be submitted by Tuesday, then the tasks which took the most amount of energy to complete were prioritized. Darren ordered his tasks by determining the amount of energy it would take to complete them. This strategy made him realize that it was better to complete his tasks in two days instead of just one. From there, he set a goal for himself to complete these tasks within a certain amount of time during the day. As a result, he was able to design a schedule that stopped procrastination in its tracks. He points out that the key to being efficient in accomplishing quality work is knowing how to prioritize the tasks in your schedule. Up next is Eric Fisher. He's the author and productivity podcaster of Beyond the To-Do List. He found that the best way to avoid procrastination is to be ready to say no. Apart from doing tasks which you are able to do, it is equally important that these tasks are something that you really want to do. When taking on an assignment that is not so interesting, it's easy to wait until the last minute before acting on it because you simply don't want to do it. When an exciting assignment arises, it's much easier for you to complete it earlier on in the week. Also, it's easier to make time for it and set it as your task of highest priority for that day. The second step, which Eric mentioned about beating procrastination, is to break down each task into the smallest number of sections as much as possible. Breaking down projects this way will make it more manageable for you to complete them. Therefore, you can slowly reward yourself for getting past another step. This strategy will make your tasks less overwhelming, and it also makes them more plausible to complete in a faster amount of time. The last person is Tony Stubblebean. He is the CEO and corporate founder of Coach.me. He broke through procrastination by using basic meditation and by understanding that it is an obstacle that needs to be overcome. 
He viewed this scenario as a challenge to control his thoughts and to control what he was doing throughout the day. Meditation taught him different levels of awareness and control, which helped him stay focused on everything that had to be done. He describes procrastination as something that happens in the subconscious level of the mind. It is through focus where a person will be able to see how much he can accomplish toward a single assignment. Tony faced this mental battle to fight procrastination head on. Simply by meditating and taking deep breaths throughout the day, anyone can focus more on their work and finish everything on time. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.